Hey everyone, welcome to your 45 minute power glutes and abs hit workout. Grab some dumbbells and your glute bands and let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome to our glutes and abs workout today. We've got a hit interval style workout, so 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds rest, and we're gonna group two exercises together in similar muscle focuses. So you'll have two lower body posterior chain exercises, and then the next circuit will be two ab or core exercises. I have my glute resistance bands here today. We have some glute bridges and we also have clam shells. So if you have something to put resistance on your legs, go ahead and grab those. I also pulled out my BOSU, which I normally don't bring that out, but I thought if you have one, here's your opportunity to pull it out. Not necessary, but optional. Just a couple moves for our core where I will add a little bit more of a burn with a little arched position for my back, making it a little harder to get back to neutral for myself. As you know, I'm working on strengthening my core, so if you've got one of those, go ahead and grab it. Your heavy dumbbells today will be for your glute bridges. Lighter dumbbells today will be for a lateral lunge dumbbell pass, okay? So let's jump right into your warm up with your hands on your hips. Sink them back as you bend your knees. Two, one, let's go. There you go, feel a great stretch in the hamstrings. Last one and stay bent right here. Good, hands to your chest. You're gonna reach one arm down, one arm up, and switch. Switch again. Last switch. Great job, drop your hips down, point your toes out if you need to, and just open nice and wide. Stretching your inner thighs. Exhale, engage your core. Good job. Swivel your shoulders left and right. Three, two, hands down. Quadruped position. You're gonna shift back and roll it up and forward. Open your chest at the top and go again. Two more. Back, exhale. Last one, tuck your chin, lift your hips back. Up, 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 and open your chest. Good, exhale into a plank position. Left foot up, right foot back. You got a nice warm up today to make sure your core and your glutes and your hamstrings are ready. Then we'll start with the glute activation series. Good, hips up, walk it back till your front leg is straight. And my main priority today is to make sure you get a really great workout and that consists of a warm up and cool down. Good, drop it down again one more time. Open it up. And come up and let's switch sides. Great job, allow your hips to stretch. And shift it up, both legs are straight. And take it back down, open your chest up towards that front leg. Got some rotational core today. Good job, hands down, lift your hips up and you're gonna come into the middle. Bent leg, straight leg to stretch your inner thigh. Three, two, 90 seconds. And good, roll it on up nice and slow. We'll get started here in just a second. Cross your arms over your chest. Good, as you're holding those heavy dumbbells, I wanna make sure your core and your back both are controlling things. Good, arms past your body and up. One more minute and we'll get started with our glute band activation series. Last one. Arms down to the side, twist, twist. I also have my kettlebell out here today and I forgot to mention that in the intro. We will have kettlebell or dumbbell swings. So if you have one of those, you wanna pause now and grab it and pull it in. That'll be just over halfway through the workout. Three, two, and one, all right, great job. Roll the wrist, roll the ankles, and then we'll throw on a medium glute resistance band for three minutes of activation work. Okay, so I've got my medium strength here. 
we're gonna start off with just standing side leg raises. Okay, so you're here, here, three, two, one, let's go. And you can have a little bit of a bend in your knee, that's fine, just make sure you're not leaning to get your leg to lift. Stay right here. We're moving in the frontal plane here. Great job. Good, now let's step it out. Lift, step, lift, step. Good, just adding a little movement with it. Just go to the ends of your mat and back down. Good, same principle, heel is driving up. You're staying over that stationary leg. Good job, meet me right here in the middle. Three, two, one, we're gonna hinge, tap, and tap. Good job, when you get back there, flex the glute of the leg that's tapping back. Good, and then second half, we'll just lift instead of adding the tap. Good job, now here we go. Reach that heel nice and high. Good job. This is hip extension, so we're just getting your glutes to extend your hip. There you go, three, Two, one, right here, in and up. I have my hands going right inside my knees so my knees stay out. As I'm driving my knees out, I'm working my glutes. And that's just the whole point of this first three minutes, to get your glutes working in the three main ways that they are activated. Good job. Good, now drop it down, stay here. We're gonna step and sit. Fifteen more seconds, and we'll move on to your first second, two glute exercises. Since they're nice and warm, this will be perfect. Five. Two, one, great job. Glutes are primed and ready. And we're going for tap back Romanian deadlifts and a lateral lunge with a dumbbell pass. All right, I'm gonna start with my 15s. Bent knees here, just a little bend. Shoulders nice and neutral. You're gonna tap here, right beside your heels and back to neutral, okay? Second exercise, just one. You're gonna take it middle arm, Gives behind the shin to your outside leg. And we switch, okay? Tap back deadlifts, let's go. Good job, 12, 11. Last one, two, one, good. Lose one of those dumbbells. Okay, the middle arm is gonna give to the outside hand right behind your shin or your calf. Come in, same thing, just thread it out. Four, three, two, one, let's go. And what this does is helps me get you sitting back in your heels. which activates the stretch of the glute. And then to push back up, you're working those glutes. Come on. Five. And rest. Good job. Judge yourself on that weight. How did that one feel? 
Likely you can go heavier for your deadlifts at least. So let's go. Five, three, two, one. Come on. Fifteen. Good. Five. Two, one, rest. Good job. Back to the lateral lunge, pass through. Three, two, Middle hand gives it to the outside. Good. Come on, push, push, push. 15. Dig the heel in, push back to the middle, five. Two, one, last round, come on. If you can go heavier, let's go, but I want you coming up with power. So touch down, brace your upper body, drive those hips forward. Three, two, let's go. Good. Nice job, almost there, 15. Rest, perfect. Okay, you can throw those dumbbells up, unless you're using that one for your lunge pass through. And let's finish circuit one right here. Ready? Two. One, pass. Keep that dumbbell nice and close, so don't let it swing out here. Good, strong heel drive, push down, push down. That's it, five. Stay with me, four. Two, one, beautiful. All right, move that heavy dumbbell out of the way. We're going on to a core circuit. You've got 30 seconds of rest. And if you have a BOSU, this is the one I'm gonna ask you to bring it out if you would like, okay? You've got dumbbell straight arm sit-ups, and that's where I'll use mine. You have it, tailbone's on the front half, okay? Dumbbells are here. If you're on the ground, same movement. Exhale, push. Okay, second move, we're gonna go toe touches. So legs are gonna be up in the air. This is not how it's supposed to look, I'm just showing you. Legs in the air with your dumbbell. Straight arm sit-ups, let's go. Two, one. Fourteen. Two, one, good. If you're on a BOSU, move it off. That's what I was trying to say. It doesn't need to be on the BOSU. Legs are straight up in the air. Okay, just think of this as kind of like the mini crunch version. Ready? Let's go. Fifteen, good work. Two, one, nice job. Straight arm set up again. Bring it back. If you're using 
the bow suit, just bring it right back out. Three, two, one, come on. Ten. Rest. Perfect. All right, toe touches. Same thing, just the little crunch version. You're doing great. Two, one, go. Come on, think of this as your power. Okay, up with power. Fifteen. Two, one. All right, one last round, come on. Go up if you can. Bosu if you can. This is just increasing my range of motion, my torso control. Three, two, one, let's go. See how when I get to the bottom, I open up here just a little bit more than I could if I was on the floor. The work to get back to here is added into each rep. Okay, so that's how it's a little more challenging. Also from a stabilization point, you can go side to side. So I'm just asking my muscles to work a little more concentrated. 10. Rest. Okay, toe touches, closing out circuit number two. Legs up, four, three, two, one, come on. Fifteen. Eight, seven. Two, one. Beautiful. All right. <laughs> Grab some water. We're moving on to a heavy set, a 45 second set, glute bridges and clamshells. If you wanna have the BOSU out and put your shoulder blades on it, you can. It'll give you a little bit more range of motion for the depth of your squats or your glute bridges. But go ahead and grab your heaviest weight for those bridges. Just full range of motion bridges and then clamshells. Gonna have the glute bands on, opening up to the side, laying on your side. We'll go in 12. Forty-five seconds of work for these two. Here we go. Three, two, one, and we're up. When you get to the top, squeeze your glutes together. Perfect, let's go six, five, two, Whew. good, all right. Dumbbell off, glute band on. If you don't have a glute band, you're gonna put your dumbbell, a lighter one, right here on top, okay? We're just driving feet are together, open, right here. Three, two, one, let's go. You can use the BOSU or you can just lay flat on the floor. We're gonna go 45 here, roll right over, 45 on the other side. Then we'll rest and come back to glute bridges. Three rounds of that, just so you know what's coming. Ooh, 
Good job. Just keep thinking, knees are fighting away from each other. Oh, nice, last 10. And you can roll right over, I'm gonna flip sides. Five, three, two, one. All right, other side, keep going. And you're gonna find both legs, both glutes specifically, are working here because the bottom leg has to hold the band down so it's driving away. Top band is obviously driving away. So yes, you're gonna feel it in both sides. Whew. 15 seconds, come on. Push, push, push. Seven. One more, two, rest. We're back to glute bridges. If you wanna keep that band on, that'll intensify it just a bit for you. So I challenge you to do whatever makes it just a bit tougher for round number two. Are you ready? Come on, three, two, one, and we're up. Power component here, I want you firing off the ground. Instead of just saying lift and lower, I want you to tap the floor, Squeeze together to lift with some power. Good job, 13, 12. Two, one, great job, dumbbell off. And we're back to the clamshell. Good work, guys. Side, side, side. If you need some extra resistance, dumbbell on top. Two, one, drive it up. Try to keep the same starting leg, just so you know you're getting rest on that second leg when we rest. That's it, now try to keep a little more tension. Instead of coming back together and having this band loose, try to only come down right before the band relaxes and then go back up. Oh good, 15. That adds a little more spice. 10. Flip right over in five. Don't stop, four, three, two, one, other side, keep going. Something that helps me sometimes is to push into the ground right in front of my chest. If you're up on your elbow like this, that's fine. You can also lay down here. Fifteen. Same thing, try not to let the band relax too much. We'll hit one more round of these two right after we're done in six. Two, one, 15 seconds. Let's go, last round of your bridges. Whew. Three, two, one, and we're off, come on. And you wanna look right past your knees when you get to that full hip extension, so make sure you're not here. Okay, looking right past your knees keeps the glutes tucked under instead of open ribbed. Neutral. Seven. Two. Rest, good. Whew. All right, clamshell. 
on the first hip. For me, that's my right hip. All right, let's go. Keep the band tense at all times. Three, two, one, go. That's it, we're gonna hit some core right after this. So embrace this burn, work harder to drive higher. Last 12 seconds. Flip it over in seven. Two, one, switch sides, keep going. Good, this abduction is really great for stabilization of the hips, especially when you get into your squats, your deadlifts. Good job, you got 20 seconds left, come on. Drive it up, keep it up. Three, two, one. Great job, amazing work. We're going on two core exercises. We've got seated twists and jackknives with a dumbbell pass around the leg that will come up. Just like we did with a lateral lunge. Feel free to use your BOSU if you would like for those seated twists. Just adds a little bit more of a challenge for your stabilization if you sit on top as we twist side to side. I'm gonna grab a lighter dumbbell for the pass around, okay? 15 seconds and we'll go. Seated twist, I want you holding long ways here. Twist shoulders. If you can, tap your elbow on the ground behind you, okay? Let's go there in four, three, two, one. All right, come on. I'm leaning back just a bit. Touching, but making sure I'm not getting back here and putting my weight down. Seven. And rest, beautiful. Take this light dumbbell one leg at a time. You're gonna come up, pass, and switch, okay? The option for the dumbbell is of course optional. You can also just clap hands, and if you need to really dial it back and keep your upper body down, touch right here. Let's go. Seven. And rest. Great job. I'm going to bring my BOSU in for round number two. Feel free to do the same if you would like. Just adds a little bit more stabilization challenge. All right, let's go. Two, one, come on. Good work. Are you breathing? I'm checking in on myself and on you as well. There we go, 12. Two. 
two, one, great job. Move it out of the way for those pass-throughs. And on the pass-through, try and make sure the weight that you are coming up against starts at your chest, so it's a little bit tough to get off the ground. Ready? Let's go. Nice job, are you breathing? <sighs> okay. Twelve, eleven. One more, three. And rest. Last round, let's finish it out right here. If you're adding the Bosu on top, Make sure your tailbone is on the front part. Okay, so just outside of that top arch. Let's go. Two, one, lean it back, twist, twist. Fifteen more seconds, come on. Push through the burn. We've got some really fun glute work next. Three, two, one. Ho! Oh, one last round of your jackknives with the dumbbell weighted at your chest. All right, hold the dumbbell right here. Three, two, one. One, push up, then pass. Nice job, fight against the resistance on the sit up. Three, two, one, and 30 seconds to rest. We're going into the kettlebell or dumbbell swings. Up next, supersetted with Superman holds, okay? Dumbbell or kettlebell swing, it's coming from a hinged position. So make sure you're not just squatting and you're not rounding your back, okay? We swipe it back through our quads right here, okay? Let's go in five. Heels down, swipe back right here. Two, one, let's go. Dig the heels in. 30 seconds of work here. Two, one, good. Heavy glute band on, lay it flat on your tummy. We're coming up, Whew. and we're gonna tap out, in, out, in. Four, three, two, one, lift it up. Toes are tapping, heels are driving out. Good, keep squeezing, low back and glutes. 15, let's go. Tap, tap, tap. Four, two, one. Kettlebell swings, come on up. Don't try to keep your band on for the swings. Okay, we gotta pass right through <laughs> where the band would be. Five seconds. Nice flat back. 
Dig the heels in. Let's go. Back down to the floor. This time, don't touch the ground when you come into the middle. Keep the legs up and just drive your heels outward like this. Two, one, let's go. Out, 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 out. I would like that pace. Out, out, out. Okay, so you're not speeding and not really getting the full work out of this. Come on, come on. Out, out. Seven more seconds. Come on, six, five. Out. Rest. Last round through, come on. Drop the band, grab the bell. If you're using the dumbbell, same thing, you're just holding by that top part. Four. Swipe it back. Three, two, one. Come on. Cheeks together, make sure your belly isn't pushed. Okay, glutes are neutral. Stack it up under your ribs. Don't go forward. Seven, more power. Rest, beautiful. Superman, lift it up, drive it out, keep it out. Here we go. Four, three, two, one, out. Keep it there to your max press. Good. Toes are pointed to the floor, not out to the side. They point down, heels drive away from each other. 15 seconds, arms out too, let's go. Everything is fighting away from the midline of your body. Lift it up, pull it out. Six. Come on, come on. Drive out a little bit more. Don't rest for three, two, one. Beautiful job. You've got 30 seconds rest. <sighs> We're doing it, guys. Stay with me. We're moving on to core. <sighs> We've got some canoe flutter variations. So think of a hollow body hold. All right, so come on down onto your back. 30 seconds of work here. Each of the 10 seconds, we're gonna switch up just a little bit. All right, canoe, let's go, right here. Meet me there, hands under your tailbone if you need to. Come on. Good, now cross your legs over and over, good. Five seconds, you just hold right here. Five, good, let's go. Hold it for four, three, two, one. Great job, heels down, hands behind your head. All right, you're gonna tap heels, lift the hips. Heels, lift the hips. If you're not ready for a hip lift, meet in the middle and open. Let's go. Thirty seconds, right here. Fourteen. Three. Rest. Good job. We're back to the canoe variations. If you are able, arms are up here. Legs are doing their thing out here. If you need a little assistance, Hands are here. Two, one, chop it out. And the main thing here is to crunch. Neutral hips, neutral ribs, and cross. Let's go. Good. 
Good job. And hold. You've got nine. Eight. Rest. Oh. Great job. Nice work. Reverse crunches. Support your head. Exhale. Four, three, two. Low back stays down. You lift and lower. And if you want to add a little challenge, when you go down, instead of tapping heels, extend. 15. One more. Rest. Good. One more round of both of those. 30 and 30. And then we've got a glute finisher. Come on. Hands under your tailbone, over if you're able. Three, two, one, chop it out, 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 let's go. And cross, cross. Belly button drawing to the floor. Two, one, hold. Two, one, rest. Oh, great job. Oh. Okay, reverse crunch, last round. Support your head. Four, three, two, come on. If you're ready, extend the heels out in front of you. One and rest. Beautiful job. We're going for a Superman burnout finisher. We've got four positions to get through. Superman laying on your stomach. Side plank, left leg lift, right leg lift, and then just a hold, outward hold. Okay, we go in 10, starting with the Superman. Ready? Whew. Yes, you are, come on, we got this. Four, three, two, one, go up. That's it. Lift a little higher. Good. Drive the heels out a little more. 15. And then we're going to roll onto your right hip. Eight seconds. Stay there. Look at me. In five seconds, you come here. Three. Two, one, let's go, come with me. 30 seconds here. Work in the core and the glutes. Good, 10 more seconds, roll right over, switch sides, just keep going. Four, three, Two, other side, go. Fifteen. Good, eight seconds, you're gonna meet me right here and drive out. Four, three, two, Let's go. I'm on the top of my glutes here and my elbows. If you need to relax a little more, go down. If you can go a little bit more advanced, you're right here. Woo! 15. Pull the abs and the glutes to the ground. Heels go out. Nine. Come on, come on. Six. Two, one, feet on the ground. 
you've made it to your cool down. Stay here. Give me just two minutes of your time. Flip over, hands and knees. You've made it to your cool down, but give me time for that cool down. Shift your hips back. Pinkies are forward. A little mobility flow to get you out of here today. All right, just follow me. Exhale, lift your hips. Drop your hips, open your chest. Just listen to my voice and breathe. Exhale, look over your left shoulder. Inhale, exhale, look over your right shoulder. Come back to the middle. Tuck your toes, exhale, use your core to lift your hips. Drive your heels to the floor. Stay with me here, just breathe. This is part of your best workout. Slowly walk it back, keeping your heels driving to the ground, your main focus. When your heels get to the floor, keep walking back, back, back until your hands are near your toes. Shift your weight into your heels. Grab your hands right behind your calves. Relax your head. Let go of your hands, bend your knees just a little bit. Hands down, shoot your left foot behind your right. It's okay if your band falls down. Switch that over, you can move your band off if you'd like. Other leg is behind. The leg that's in front, take that ankle as you walk away from your body, move that ankle up to your knee, then walk it back. Exhale, fold it right over top of your shin. Yeah, this one feels good, right? Keep stretching. All right, walk it away. You're gonna drop that top leg and just switch it over, same thing. Ankle to the knee, walk back, walk back, walk back. Bend your back leg. Sit here, good stretch. We're finishing up with the cool down and we're also finishing up with week three, which means we're entering into the last week of effort. You better believe I've got some good things coming for you next month, but as for this last week, it's good. It is good. You gotta show up and you gotta keep giving the effort. We've established your goal this month is to put in the effort consistently. You showed up, you started the program, you're here now because you did not give up on yourself and maybe that's more than you can say for your past. Good, slowly make it up to the top. Maybe you're just feeling a different level of oomph, of consistent effort dedicated to yourself. Go ahead and pull your heel to your glute. Whatever it is, you're here right now for a reason, hearing this message, you're not done yet. You're here for a purpose, you're fulfilling your purpose by using these workouts to become your best self. Switch sides. Do not mistake this presence that you're in right now, this energy that you're feeling right now. Don't mistake this for a coincidence. You're here, you're meant to be here because out there, you're meant to do some great things. All right, release that last one. Gently push on your tailbone, open it up. Hips nice and open. It's no coincidence that you're here today. You've put in the work, come back to the middle. And this is your chance, okay? When you leave here, imagine every single thing outside of this workout, it's not a coincidence that you're in that predicament, okay? It's not a coincidence that you're a part of the next conversation. Maybe you can bring light to someone. Maybe you can bring a smile. Maybe you can bring new ideas, generate energy, okay? The next conversation that you're in, give it your all, okay? Be your best, brightest, most positive, encouraging self. It's no coincidence that you need to be there. Move forward. The next time you make a decision for what you are going to eat or what you're going to cook, either one or what you're going to order, it's no coincidence that you have the luxury of having that choice. So give your body, give your energy, give your mind, give your digestion the luxury of making sure that that is your best choice to feel your best. Okay, because later after you eat, it's no coincidence that you're going to be somewhere where you need to bring your best self again. Life is not a coincidence. Okay, you are set up to be in the places that you are right now and in the future for a purpose. And if you are your happiest, most healthy, strongest version of yourself, you are fulfilling your purpose. My purpose for you is to continue to learn how to put in the effort when it's easy and when it's not. So week four, let's show up. If you've missed any workouts so far in the program, take this weekend to get them in and it's time to go hard. 
week four of effort coming at you in our next workout. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. I want you to comment below that you crushed week three. I'm so proud of you. Let's keep going. I'll see you back here for our next workout. Bye, everyone. Da, 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 da.